My name's Jason with Mount Baker Mining and Metals, and today we're going to run a sample of these brass bullet casings through one of our hammer mills. And these are all different sizes. There's the smaller ones. We do have some larger ones that we pulled out separate that we're going to run as well. And we're going to run all this material through this 16 inch by 12 inch hammer mill. It has a quarter inch slotted screen in it. And the goal is to destroy the bullet casings, but also to make sure that if there's any live ammunition in there, that that gets destroyed for recycling purposes. We also have a little bit of contamination from our last sample. We ran a, a sample of white powder, so there's going to be a little bit of that that comes out with the, the bullet casings. Um, so that's not part of the bullets, that's just the previous sample, and there's a little bit of powder left over in the inside of the bullet. So here's our sample after we've run it through our quarter inch screen and you can see the the shells got chewed up into little tiny pieces little tiny balls little flakes uh, that's probably more destruction of the shell than we needed um, and surprisingly to me that we actually lost a huge amount of volume to this there's a there's a significant amount of weight here in in brass and uh, it, it just, I mean, that's probably half a bucket's worth that just got crunched up into little tiny balls. So you, you lose a huge amount of volume when he runs through the hammer mill. This is another sample we ran. This is through a quarter inch here in the black tub. And in the orange bucket, this is another sample we ran through a one inch screen. And you can see some of them got chewed up pretty good. Some of them, like that one, barely got nicked on the way by. Um, but uh, it, it just depends on how much destruction you need. So that's through a one inch, and that's in the bottom is through a quarter inch. And probably if you did about a half inch or three eighths or even five eighths, you could get somewhere in between where maybe it's not so ground up into small flakes and balls, but it's still, it takes the shells and, and grinds them up and processes them more than this at one inch. So it'll really just depend on what you need. Again, we can do any size screen you need with any size hole or orientation of hole. Um, but I think it's a real successful test. And if you need to destroy brass uh, shell casings, this is a great way to do it. So I appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you in the next video.